Hey guys, in this quick little video, I'm going to show you how to make this um, little quad album, which is super quick and easy for a little gift. And you can probably make this in about 20 minutes, I'd say. So stay tuned and check it out. Hey guys, so for this project, um, it's really just a few materials that you need. We're going to use four pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock, and you can use um, whatever color you want that coordinates with your paper. I'm using white in this case just because it shows up best on camera so I can show you um, what I'm doing. So four pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock, and then your patterned paper, really, and that's it. So if you um, want to cover, really make this simple for yourself, you can use a six by six pad and that will exactly cover each of the pieces. You may have to just trim a tiny bit off if you like to have an edge, which I do. But in this case, I'm actually going to use this 12 by 12 kit from Echo Park, Let's Be Mermaids, because I promised my little niece an album uh, full of mermaids. So that's what she's getting. So just the other kind of basics you'll need. I'm going to be using this art glitter glue and double-sided tape. Now, you notice I said I'm making this for my niece. That's because this is actually a really quick little project. So if you want to make a little gift for somebody, um, you can even turn this into a birthday card. I've seen this used as a birthday card with photos. Uh, it's just super quick and easy to put together. So stay tuned and we will get started. Okay, so we're going to start with... Um, the base of the album which is going to be really really straightforward the only tricky part is where to score and where to cut and fold so get your 12 by 12 cardstock and score it right down the middle at six inches so we're going to end up with four quadrants here okay so then turn your paper around and score again at six inches all right so you're going to end up with four even quadrants. So we can just move the scoreboard aside. So now what I want to do is I want to cut from the bottom of the sheet to the center. So I separate these two quadrants. So I'm just going to make an incision from here down to here. So let's do that first. Okay, so just make sure that you are lined up right in the center. And then usually what I do is I will insert my blade where I want to start cutting from and then just slice down. Oops, time for a new blade, I think. And then just slice down. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I want to cut this quadrant off. I don't want the whole thing here because you'll see when we start to fold this up, if you keep this here, you'll just have a bunch of bulkiness. So what you're going to do is just mark out a half an inch. So mark out half an inch from the center score line. Just mark out about half an inch down. Okay, and we are going to just cut this off. We're going to cut from here to the center. So you're going to end up with this half inch piece from this score line that you did earlier to this edge. So I want to remove this excess part here. Okay, so let's just get that into our paper trimmer. And let's just cut this piece off here at the half inch, just up to the end. All right, so I'm just removing this piece. All right, so what you should end up with then is four, three even quadrants and this little flap here, okay? So just fold everything up on your score lines like that, just so you've got your folds in place. All right, so now with this facing you this way, you want your top left quadrant to have a diagonal score line. So I find the sort of easiest way to do this is if you're brave, you can try to put this into your scoreboard on a diagonal. I'm not that brave. So I just need a center, I need a center fold like this. So what I'm gonna do is take this, sorry, I'm going to fold this in, okay? And I'm just gonna fold this corner up to there. So I'm just lining up against this score line so I know where the center is and just fold this in half, okay, like so. And I'm just gonna flip it over because actually 
when we fold up the book, I'm gonna need it to fold that way. All right, so here's where what you should end up with is three quadrants. Your top left one will have a square, diagonal square mark down the center and your fourth quadrant you've cut down to just this little flap. So what, well, what you're gonna do now is fold up your bottom quadrant and fold it in this way. And we're not gonna attach this yet, I'm just showing you the construction. You're gonna put double-sided tape on this flap and just attach this here. So this is what you're going to end up with when you're finished. And this is one quadrant of the book. When we close the book, this the purpose of this score line that is so that this will fold in and this folds up very neatly. So when it's all folded together, your whole book will just look like a six by six square. Okay, so we've made one of these now. We're gonna to need to make three more because we'll have one here, here, and here. So we'll have the four quadrants and the book will just fold up like this. Okay, I am not sticking this together just yet because you can decide to actually decorate before you put the book together, which is probably a lot easier. So just remember that each of your three sections, when you put them together, it will form sort of this little section. So you may want to coordinate in each of the quadrants that way. But maybe you can pause the video here and go ahead and cut three more exactly like this. And then when we come back, um, I will show you how to put it together and we'll decorate a little bit first and then show you how to put the album together. Okay, so you should now have your four pieces like this cut out and they should look exactly like this. I'll just go over this again, just in case. You have a little half inch flap here, then you have three equal quadrants and one of them is scored or folded down the center. So I had mentioned the easiest thing to do is for you to actually decorate these before assembling the album because once it's all together, um, I mean, you can do it, but it's just much simpler to do it this way. So I'm just going to go through my measurements for decorating um, each of these each of these quads. So you're going to need to cut out two pieces of patterned paper um, that are I'm using five and three quarters by five and three quarters because I like to have a little trim. And then the third piece will also be five and three quarters, but which I will cut in half. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. So I'm using this little turtle paper. Um, the other thing I've seen as people do with these cards is do like in each of the quadrants make a little scene. So like, you know, imagine if this was a winter card or Christmas card, you could have one quadrant might have little, um, a little fireplace scene, another one might have a little baking scene, so you could really get super cute with this style of card or album rather. So I'm just cutting five and three quarter inch square here out of this green, and this I'm going to use on this folded piece. So once I have my five and three quarter square, I'm just going to line up the two points on my cutter here, and I'm going to just cut this in half. And so those two pieces will go there like that. And then just again, cut two more squares, five and three quarters for these um, two pieces. The only thing we're not going to decorate before we put the book together is the outside cover, which we can easily do once we're finished. Okay, so again, that's a five and three quarters. And we'll just Put these together so you can see that as well. And then you can pause and go back and cut your decorative pieces um, and decorate all your pages the way you'd like. And when you come back, we'll be ready to actually put the book together. I'm not doing embellishments here. Like I want this book to lay relatively flat. So I'm not doing a ton of um, embellishments. I'll, I will do some, but I will do them after the book is put together because that's a little bit um, easier to manage. Okay, so let's just get some glue flowing here. Just put in my pages. I love this little mermaid paper, but I am definitely thinking of using this again. Um, in the winter, I may make cards because um, especially if you're just looking for quick little gifts, you can make cards for friends and family to be able to put their Christmas pictures in and hold their memories. Um, anyway, it's just a cute and really quick little album to put together. Okay. And I like the fact that you can kind of make each little quad 
um, section can be a little coordinating little area. So in this area, I've got the turtles and I'm using the green for the base. And it's just cute, cute, cute. Okay, now since I cut this in half, they're actually gonna, I'm gonna glue right up against the center score line. I'm not gonna have a trim there, which is fine because when it sits flat, I want it to look, um, I don't want there to be a split between the two halves of the pattern paper. So it's totally okay. So I'm going right up to the score line here and just leaving the trim around these two sides. You can see that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Um, it's easy enough, but I thought I'd just show you quickly how I go about decorating this and just the fact that you should do it first. Okay, so that's all together. So we're gonna do this again, hit pause, go back, decorate all your quads, and when we come back, we'll start putting the album together. Okay, guys, so you should now have all your four quadrants decorated the way I have here and I just kind of stack them up. And I have put score tape along this little flap that we left um, open, because that's where we're going to attach the album this way, okay? So go ahead and get your score tape down on this little flap. So I'm using half inch score tape. So I'll just show you one here, okay? There we go. So go ahead and put that on all four of your flaps. And then what you wanna do, and you might wanna pause here so you can add your score tape when you come back, um, you can see the rest. But what you wanna do is just peel back, peel back the score tape. And now your card should be nicely folded already. Just fold up the side here. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to show you. So we're just gonna bring up the side and stick down our flap. So we made a nice little kind of square. Okay, so this is what you should end up with and it should close up like this, okay? So let's um, do that to all of our little quads and see, this is what I was talking about. It ends up looking like a little room. So you could make a little scene in there, so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick together the rest of my quadrants. There we go, is the second one. I really, really love how quickly this comes together. Um, oh, I just realized something. You could actually fold this down uh, and then just kind of fold this little flap over. That makes it simple, easier too. Anyways. We learn these tricks as we go along. Okay. And just my last one. So what I was saying is I just, I really like how quickly this comes together. If you want to make a last minute gift or something for the teacher, this is definitely um, a quick and easy book to make. Oh, look at that. Okay, guys, don't do what I just did because I'm trying to go quickly and I actually um, put the glue in the wrong spot on this one. Okay, so let's not have you watch this entire blooper, but we can just gently pull it off. I actually leave these in my videos because I think it's good to see how to fix an error. Um, and when I first started scrapbooking and I would make errors, I just felt like the end of the world, because oh my God, my paper's wrecked. Not so, it's really, it's just paper and you can usually just rectify the situation. Now this is like sort of opened up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, use my glue at this stage. I'm going to glue this down and now this will end up getting attached to another backside cover. So you don't have to be too fussed about how it looks, but because when I pulled it apart, I kind of split the paper. So I'm just going to, Put some more glue and that will all get covered up. So 
You don't have to worry too much about it, but. And that's how you just go and fix something impromptu. And it looks just as good as new. Okay, so now that that's done and you've seen a blooper too, this is how the album will sit together. But what you want is to actually, um, sorry, I'm just looking at how the patterns are, are lined up, so I'd like it to be like that. So what you're gonna do is you're going to glue this together on three of the sides and you're gonna leave one of them unglued because that will become your um, front and back covers. Okay, so let's start with this side. So I'm just gonna remove this one quadrant and fold it this way. And I'm going to use the glue. You can use double-sided tape. I really think um, this, this glue has never failed me. It's really, really quite strong. If you wanna put this together with tape and glue, some people do that, go ahead. Um, but I'm just using the glue in my little demo here. And um, I've never had one fall apart on me yet, so. Okay, so the best way to do this is to actually fold up your two pieces. And so I just wanna be mindful, this is the side that I'm gonna glue down. So I'm just folding it up, and now I'm gonna stick these two sides together, like so. And just line them up. I'm just gonna give them a bit of a okay. So when you open this up, you should have two, so half of your album is put together. So you've got these two sides glued together. Okay, now I'm going to take the third one. I'm going to glue this side to this side like that. So I'm gonna go ahead again, I'm gonna fold this up and put my glue down. On the one side. Okay. I get try to get um, nice and close to the edge. Okay, and now I'm, I'm just paying paying attention to where what I want to glue down. I'm gluing this to this. So I'm just going to fold this up and then turn it over and glue these together. And the other reason I like to use the glue for this is that I can wiggle it a little bit to make sure everything is nice and lined up. Okay, so that looks good. Just push that down. I always check, sometimes this can get confusing, so I open it up every time I finish a flap. I will open it up again. Okay, and now I want to glue this side to this side. This is my final piece. So I'm going to, again, fold this up and I'm putting glue here. Okay, and I'm gluing this side to here. So I'm just going to fold that up and flip it. Again, I want to just stand it up, make sure everything looks good and aligned. Okay, sorry about the shaking. All right. Okay, guys, we are actually done. This is the album and it's now you can go ahead, go in with your embellishments and decorate. I'm probably gonna put in, you know, little pockets and things like that, but the whole thing will close up like this. And the two pieces that you did not glue together become your outside cover, okay? That's it. So easy and so quick. Now, one thing I do is I just check that the bindings here, everything looks okay. Okay, and if I need a little more glue, I can just go in and just squeeze in a bit more in here just to keep these edges together. But it's looking pretty good. I'm very happy with that. All right, and there you have it. Super quick, easy little starburst album or whatever you want to call it. 
that you can give as a quick little gift and I'm going to finish decorating and come back and show you the finished product but I really hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial okay so I just want to show you my finished little album that I put together so this is like I said it's a gift for my niece um, for her to play with and add photos to so um, I decorated the outside cover with some ribbon which I just stuck on the paper before I put the patterned paper on top so those are just there on front and back and I just used some of the stickers from the collection that I thought she would like and added some bling um, I love this saying always be yourself unless you're a mermaid then always be a mermaid yes obviously so this just opens up and I just want to show you that you can definitely um, add elements to make more space for photos. So I added a little flap onto this one. Um, in this section, I used some of the three by four cut aparts and just did like a little tiny waterfall. Like I said, this is for a little six year old girl and she can have fun adding photos to it. So I didn't want to get too crazy with flaps and folds, but just enough for her to be able to add to. Again, another one of the um, three by four cut aparts that I just Fold it up and she can add pictures to the back side and lots of cute little photos and sayings on the front side of that. And that's essentially it. So it will, can sit open like this so she can keep it out on display or she can just keep it folded up however she likes. Um, but lots and lots of possibilities with this style of album. So hope you enjoyed that and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please hit like and please subscribe because that just motivates me to do more of these little um, albums. And um, I hope you're enjoying my videos. Leave any feedback in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. Thanks so much. Bye guys.